Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at the new Linux Lite 3.2. It was just released within the last couple days, and uh, the reason I wanted to do this review is because I've been semi critical of uh, Linux Lite in the past because their bootloader would automatically take control. You you didn't you couldn't exercise much control over the boot process uh, because of the way they had it configured. Well, that that's been changed. And now the bootloader basically behaves the same way most other Ubuntu-based uh, bootloader distributions or distributions bootloaders behave. It does not give you the option not to install a bootloader, which is what I prefer. But it does the next best thing, which is it gives you control over where the bootloader is installed and whether or not your master boot record gets overwritten. So I, ins I basically selected, because I have my boot process controlled by another distribution and I didn't want to disturb that, um, I elected to install the uh, grub bootloader to the root petition. Uh, so that worked out extremely well as it usually does with most Ubuntu based distributions and so a Linux Lite has listened to their um, supporters and they have made the necessary changes so they should be applauded now the quality of the distribution has not changed it is in the top tier of uh, Linux distributions it's suitable for really any level of Linux expertise from a true beginner to a seasoned uh, Linux user. Um, Linux Lite performs extremely well. Uh, aesthetically the distribution looks great right out of the box. Uh, this is not the the uh, wallpaper that gets installed when you first boot up. I'll show you that wallpaper and that is this one here. Very nice, very classy. Um, so this is the default wallpaper right here. Now um, everything that I went through worked perfectly except there were two things that uh, really are one of them is not really a function of Linux Lite and that is this is based on the 16.04 Ubuntu 16.04 the Xenial and as such for some reason the uh, method that I've been using on the 16.10 Ubuntu distributions uh, for installing Battle.net does not work but that's true of all distributions that run the Xenial 16.04. The 16.10 of uh, that has been resolved and the install of Battle.net based gaming is uh, very easy. With the 16.04 as Linux Lite has you then have to go through a few more uh, more complicated steps involving play on Linux but it is still doable. There's one other issue and that is for updating. If I go to the Linux Lite update process it says we will now fetch the updates list click yes to continue or no to abort so yes and it goes through basically a pseudo apt get update process and then comes back with an error stating couldn't fetch the package cache information lists. So that's using their built-in uh, utility. If I do it at the command line, we will see that at the end, the it basically says the Linux Lite OS repository slash Linux Lite Xenio release does not have a release file. Data from such a repository can't be authenticated and is therefore potentially dangerous to use. It seems to be uh, referencing the Linux Lite repo. Fail to fetch 404 not found 
Some index files fail to, to download. They've been ignored or old one used. So the, the uh, error messages on updating, and this, this is not just a one-time thing. This is over a two-day process two-day period I've been trying this and over a two-day period I get the same messages so I'm not sure um, what's going on but I did run the updates and it appears that the all the software actually updated properly uh, but not the for some reason the update process is giving error messages let's go to the numbers Okay, so Linux Lite 3.2, same machine that I've all that I've been doing all the reviews on. Uh, allow no boot, no bootloader. It does not allow no bootloader, but it does allow you to install to the root, and it did not interfere with my boot process at all. All I had to do, I have Manjaro controlling the boot process. So once I finished the installation, all I had to do was go into Manjaro, run uh, OS Prober and update Grub, and then it came back with Linux Lite on the list. I just selected it. It booted into Linux Lite, no problem. Wi-Fi install, yes. Uh, it, it picks up my dongle, does not pick up Broadcom during the install. Install time was about 13 minutes and boot time is about 10 seconds. The default kernel is 4.4.0-45 generic. RAM usage on first boot 447. CPU 0.038. Nvidia is 361.42 and that is using the driver manager. Broadcom installed also through the driver manager I did not have to resort to the command line and it was not installed out of the box. Printer install, yes, using the normal Ubuntu Debian procedure. Uh, Netflix, yes, through Google Chrome. The default theme is ARC. It is a dark theme. It is very, very nice, classy. Default icon theme is Fienza Dark. I usually use Fienza, so that's, that's nice. The, the uh, default font is Droid Sans 10. Uh, there are 17 wallpapers and there are a multi multitude of very nice wallpapers. Number of icon sets is 10, themes 13. It's using the XFCE desktop environment with the whisker menu. Uh, the window manager is XFWM4, also using the ARC theme for window decoration. The distro family is Ubuntu 16.04 Xenial. It does have an office suite installed, but it's a LibreOffice minimal, so meaning you get a uh, word processor, a spreadsheet, and a presentation manager also PDF viewer. So that's a minimal office install which is really what I prefer. And then you can add other components of LibreOffice as you need. Uh, Steam was not installed out of the box but it did install with no problem. Battle.net yes but, you, but you're gonna have to use Play on Linux and you're gonna have to use a little bit di more, di more difficult procedure. Wine was installed out of the box, but not Wine Tricks. So Wine is installed. You can see there is a menu, and I installed Wine Tricks to try the Battle.net install. Um, really no issues other than the, uh, the repo issue, which is coming back with an error, uh, and I'm sure that will be resolved. Linux Lite is a tremendous distribution. I cannot recommend it more highly than I am. Uh, it's it's terrific. Everything works out of the box. Uh, they have mul a multitude of uh, homegrown utilities. Their help manual is second to none. It covers every aspect of the uh, distribution and as you can see the uh, help manual is quite comprehensive it covers every aspect of the 
uh, operating system and their forum is extremely active and if you have any issues at all if you if you can't find the answer in the help manual then you can certainly get the answer online through the forum so guys that is it for Linux Lite 3.2 highly recommended um, just a, an excellent distribution from top to bottom uh, thanks for stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon take care